Hello, in this video, we are going to implement spinners. So what is a spinner in Bootstrap? If we go here, that's it. So it's a great way of showing to the user that something's loaded, loading, something's happening, you know, something's in progress. There's a few different ones. I will show you, you know, three different ways of doing it. Feel free to come to this website or we'll provide a link in the description to see all the different ways, all the different colors, the patterns, you know, all the things that you can do. Okay, so what we're gonna do, first of all, let's, I wanna put a break rule tag, just because if you don't, the spinner will literally be touching the top. It's just a little, you know, I'll say, looks a little nicer if it's a little further down. Okay, so the first one, I'm gonna put div class equals spinner dash border. So this is just a hollow one, like a circle, like a donut essentially, and the roll, will be status and here we're gonna have a span not a spab <laughs> what's a spab a span uh, class sr dash only loading so this is just for screen readers but it's good to accommodate that side of users as well for click there we go that's it and you might be thinking, why is this loading? You know, this isn't loading anything. This is just a visual cue to the user that something is loaded. Obviously, you would implement that via JavaScript, maybe some sort of backend call to PHP or Python. And then using JavaScript, you could get rid of this loading icon. So as an extra task, what I want you to do is, let's say, after five seconds, remove this spinning item and maybe display some text, for example. It doesn't have to be loaded, it could just be hard-coded, just use JavaScript. And you could, you know, it, implement the jQuery library and use that as well, because it does make things easier. Okay, so next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a couple of break rule tags, just because I remember when I implemented it before the video to test it, it just looked a little nicer with two. And obviously you would have other content here as well. The next one I'm going to show you is this sort of almost glowing one. Spinner dash grow text dash danger. So this is just the color, the theme of it. And you can see all of that on the Bootstrap website. Like I said, I will provide a link to that in the description. Role equals status. Span class equals sr only loading and i'll implement the last one as well while i'm here this is going to be in a slightly different format this is going to be within a button and we're going to have a class of btn feel free to check out my video on buttons in bootstrap and all the cool stuff that you can do with that and not our primary, our primary, primary type equals button. I'm gonna put it disabled because that's what you'll probably do when something like this happens. Maybe you've clicked on the button, you would implement this attribute using JavaScript, and you know put this spinner inside as well, which we're gonna put right now. So span class spinner dash border spinner dash border dash sm so small roll equals status area dash hidden equals true uh, nothing in here we're actually going to have loading text now and if we reload see what we get so this is sort of like a growing flashy one this is more of a classic one and we've got this classic one within a item like so so let me have a look what we got here so yeah everything looks uh, this should have been in here there we go formatting better and it looks better now instead of just being at the bottom i was thinking something looked weird but there you go that is how you implement spinners like i said there are more you know that you can do with it in terms of the alignment the positioning the sizes 
you can have it with one of these flashy ones inside you can have it without the text feel free to experiment that's the best way to learn and as usual if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and i look forward to seeing you in the next video